Street used to be exempt from Assembly Bill 5 until a federal court injunction was struck down in July. Well, now many are saying that as it stands, that bill, which reclassifies independent contractors as employees, could hurt consumers and even worsen the supply chain crisis. Assembly members like Vince Fong are asking the governor to exempt the trucking industry from that bill. He joins us now to explain why. Hi, Assembly member. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, tell us how AB5 will hurt not only consumers, but the supply chain if there's no exemption for these truck drivers. Well, we warned the governor when AB5 was signed into law that it was a terrible and ill-conceived law. Uh, it's, we have to provide certainty and clarity to California's independent truck drivers. And what this law does is it makes it harder for, uh, for individuals, but especially truck drivers now, who are dealing with a lot, uh, to, uh, to be independent contractors. And the, 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 the impact is massive. There are nearly 70,000 independent truckers that are affected. Um, and they could close their operations, they can move out of state. And that, those 70,000 truck drivers represent 70% of all the truck drivers that operate in and around our California ports. And our California ports are extremely important because 40% of the nation's goods and products, that's, that's equivalent to $400 billion, comes through our ports in California. And 30% of our exports that goes overseas comes through our ports. So this law um, has massive impacts and negative consequences to everybody. So what would happen to these drivers, these independent drivers, if, if AB5 goes into effect? Would they essentially not be allowed to drive and make a living and, and carry goods uh, where they need to go? Yeah, they would be forced to go out of business. They'd be forced to retire. They may go out of state. Um, the added mandates, the added costs uh, with, with with needed insurance, with needed uh, uh, criteria that they need to meet. Um, there's added layers of bureaucracy that these truck drivers um, are going to have to deal with. And right now, they don't know what to do. There is no clarity from the no. state. There is no certainty. And so these independent truck drivers are in limbo at a time when our supply chain is already stretched and already stressed. And so this is the absolute worst time to layer another choke point on our supply chain. Uh, so what happens now? I mean, you just keep pleading with the governor. Is he the only one that can stop this from happening? Well, in the short term, um, the governor can um, exempt or take executive action to help these independent truck drivers to keep our supply chain moving. Um, we are certainly are going to look at legislation. Um, there is going to be more litigation, uh, I'm afraid, that's going to try to provide some relief to these truck drivers. But these truck drivers are essential. We, uh, we learned through the pandemic and as we move through the pandemic that our supply chain is right now in a very fragile space. And so we need to get products from the ports to distribution centers and, and from there to our stores and to our homes. And so the impact could be we could go to the grocery store or any other retail store and the shelves could be empty because we don't have the ability, we don't have enough truck drivers to take the, the goods and the containers from the ports to the stores. Yeah, certainly a tough situation uh, anytime, and especially now when we already have the supply chain uh, issue. 70,000 drivers uh, potentially affected. Vince Fong, Assembly Member, great to see you, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.